days, more than a dozen people in Little Rock have fallen victim to gun violence. Two of those turning into the year's latest homicides. Mayor Frank Scott Jr. spoke in the violent weekend in Wednesday's media briefing where he explained enacting true change takes time. Katrin Asaf live downtown with what's being done and how neighbors feel being so close to crime, Katrin. Laura, Bob, it's been eight weeks since a public health emergency was declared in the city of Little Rock due to this increase in violent crime, and people are just still reeling from this weekend alone. As city leaders try to lay out a plan for how to curb the violence, neighbors are just trying to figure out what comes next. Awesome. By now, even setting up is routine. Scoot back just a shade more. Just another part of Katie McGowan's day, adding some ink to the people of Little Rock. We have been tattooing here in the neighborhood for almost three years. The Stiff Station resident feels comfortable settling in for a masterpiece. It's safe, there's not really a lot of riffraff. But Saturday, a different color painted the neighborhood. Flashes of red and blue after a man was killed just feet away from McGowan Sanctuary. We're just a few doors down from Pizza D, so I was definitely shocked. It was one of close to a dozen shootings that Mayor Frank Scott Jr. tackled in his latest briefing. We have to address it for the long term. Laying out a plan that will stop the violence for years to come. It's important that we save our generation because it makes no sense that we have youth that are dying and do not see life past 25. The outline includes adding more recreation options, community policing, and intervention techniques. But in terms of what's being done now. The areas that we know, based on the details and the intel that we're providing, we're in those areas. Chief Keith Humphrey says police will do what they've always done, targeting high crime areas and increasing patrols. As leaders mark their own path, so is McGowan. It doesn't make me any more fearful to be in this neighborhood because we really haven't had a history of a lot of action like that. Hoping the one night of crime scene tape will be the last. Now, Scott did say in the briefing today that our crime rate is actually down compared to what we saw at the beginning of this year, up 11% as opposed to up 26%, which is what we saw at the start of the new year. He said, we have been making progress, but we still have a ways to go. Reporting downtown, Kate Trudasaf, back to you.